In this tutorial, I will explain how you can program a micro bit to detect alcohol. A breathalyzer is commonly used by police to check if drivers have been drinking. By using the alcohol sensor and a serial monitor, you will be able to measure alcohol content in the air. You will need a micro bit and a Key Studio 37 in 1 starter kit for this project. A link to details about the kit can be found at link number 4 in the notes. The components you will need are a micro bit, a Key Studio micro bit sensor V2 shield, a USB cable, a Key Studio analog alcohol sensor, three FF DuPont jumper wires, and a spray bottle of hand sanitizer containing alcohol. All of these, except the micro bit itself, can be found in the kit. Details of all these components can be found at link 3 in the notes. You may also need a USB-A to USB-C adapter if you have a more modern computer, which will enable you to connect up the micro bit. You should connect the components exactly as in this diagram. A link to this diagram can also be found in the notes. These ports can sometimes be in different orders depending on how old your kit and components are. So connect them according to the names on the port instead of just directly following the diagram. Don't be too concerned if the micro bit does not go into the sensor shield at first. You will need to push it in with a little bit of force to ensure it is correctly in place. You should pay very close attention to the name of each connection from the alcohol sensor and ensure it goes into exactly the right pin of the sensor shield. Make sure that VCC from the sensor leads to V1 port 2 on the shield. Make sure that grounding from the sensor leads to G1 on the sensor shield. And make sure that AO from the sensor leads to S0 on the shield. Remember also that the cable from the computer must be connected to the micro bit when you download, but it can be connected to either the micro bit or the shield if you just need a power source. Now it's time to create the program. So navigate to make code and open up the make code app, create a new project, call this project alcohol sensor and then we will click on create. Now we will go to basic and we will select clear screen and drop that in on start. Then go back to basic and we will select show number and we'll drop show number in here where forever is. Go back to basic, select pause and we'll drop pause just underneath show number within forever. Go to advanced, navigate right down to the bottom where it says serial and you will select serial write value x equals and drop that underneath pause. Go to where x is, delete the x and instead type value. Go to where pins are, it's a red tab and select analog read pin p0 and just drop that in on the right where it says equals next to value. We'll duplicate this and we'll add the same block just next to where it says show number analog read pin p0. Okay and just like that we're ready so we can plug in our micro bit then we will download our program and then you should drag and drop your program onto where the micro bit icon shows on your desktop. Now as you are in the process of downloading you should see a light flashing on the back of your micro bit. When this light stops flashing and is steady, it means the program has been correctly downloaded. When you download the program, you will need to open up the Arduino IDE. If you do not yet have the Arduino IDE installed on your computer, you can download it at link 2 in the notes. Once you open the Arduino IDE, make sure your micro bit is connected to your computer Remember the cable from your computer must be plugged into the micro bit itself, not the sensor shield at this time. Then select tools and then select port. Make sure you've selected the correct port for your micro bit. It is normally the one with a number. When you see a tick, it means that you are connected. 
Then go back to the Tools menu and select Serial Monitor. You will see a number in the Serial Monitor. This is a measure of the alcohol content in the air. Spray your hand sanitizer close to your alcohol sensor. You should see the reading on the Serial Monitor quickly increase. This shows that your device is working as intended. If your device does not function like this, there are a few things you can try. Make sure that you have connected all three cables from the alcohol sensor to the correct locations on the sensor shield. You should carefully trace each cable to make sure they are plugged in exactly as required. You might also want to get a screwdriver and turn the potentiometer on the sensor, which will increase its sensitivity. Also double check the program to make sure you have chosen the correct blocks in make code. You can find details of this project at the link to the Key Studio wiki below. It is project number 26, alcohol content in the air.